All right, Eric here at the Garage Games. We're gonna take you through some of the judging standards for the judging certification. Now, there's, um, there's one key thing you have to understand. We are not gonna teach you how to judge every single movement because there will be some events where we will not even announce the movement until the event. In that case, you won't be able to practice ahead of time. You just need to be able to understand how to get yourself in the best position to watch an athlete's movement. So, we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take you through, I'm gonna role play with you, um, step one, which is me as a judge greeting an athlete and uh, what we're looking for when you do that. So, the athlete comes up, we meet that athlete, hey there, how you doing man, I'm Eric. Hey, Andy. Andy, all right, so Andy, what, uh, it, what is your competitor number? It is um, one, two, three. One, two, three, so we're getting name, competitor number down. Excellent, so Andy, in this workout today, what we're going to do is we're going to do some squats, we're going to do some push-ups, right. and we're just going to do that over and over and over, okay? So what we're doing is we're doing 10 squats, we're doing 10 push-ups, we're doing it as many times as we possibly can over the course of five minutes. All right. So um, what I want you to know is what I'm looking for in a squat, Right. okay? So yeah, I want full depth in a squat, okay. so let me see what you got for a full depth squat. Very good, that's perfect, your hips below your knee, I like that. Okay, can you go ahead and stand fully up for me so I can see what that looks like? Perfect, all the way up, and that's what I want to see for every squat. So go ahead and give me five of those right now. Good, those are good reps. I like that. All right, so as you can see, the position I'm taking is one that allows me to see his hips. I can see that his hips are in the right position below the knee when he's down, and I can see that they're fully open and that the knee is straight as well, full extension when he's up. It would be wrong for me to take this position, go ahead and give me your squats, and assume that I can really judge. I can tell that he's low enough right here, but because he's really deep. If he cuts that short a little bit, it looks good to me right here. A little bit higher still. That one I can tell is not quite, but it almost looks good from this position. So it comes down to me being in that right position to say, oh my goodness, this is a perfect squat, or it's not one. So that's what we want to have. Now push-ups. Let's go ahead and see the push-up. Let's go ahead and do a flash push-up because we like the flash push-ups these days. So good. If I want to really pay attention to his position and watching his plank and the full extension in his elbow, then this position is the best position for me to be in. Now as I do this, I'm going to count these out. And we want that in all of our competitions. So we'll call this number one. Go ahead. One. Two. Three. Four. And then he fails a rep for me. No rep. I didn't count it because you didn't get high enough. Higher. There you go. Five. All the way up. Come on. Bring it up. Six. I'm cueing the athlete. I'm not just sitting here in silently in my head saying, no rep, no rep, no rep. And then when he asks me, because I've been in my head, and he says to me, how many reps do I have? Zero. What? That's not a good situation. So we want you to be able to communicate with the athlete. Okay, you can cut that there. All right, so when you show up to be tested on site, your test will be a very short test. We'll be looking for these three key ingredients. One, line of sight, making sure that you're putting yourself in the right position to be able to see the athlete. So as we just showed with the push-up as well as with the squat, we want to make sure we're in the right position. Just to demonstrate that again with a box jump. So he's going to be jumping. I'm looking for a few key things. I want to see that he is going to be above the box at full extension. So I'm going to be checking this here so I can kind of get a good position on his hip here and see that he's at full extension before his feet cross below the box. Those are very good reps. And I can count those out loud for him. And so that's the second thing that we're going to be testing you on is your verbal cues, how well you cue your athlete. So to count out loud, to communicate to him, to let him know that the rep is good by a number or that the rep is bad by a communication of what was wrong. So go ahead and give me a bad rep. You got to know, you got to get all the way up, full extension at the top. You got to stop. None of those counted. I know repped all of those. There you go. That counts. Four, we'll say. Five. So you can see we're going to make sure, I'm going to step in and stop him even. I'm going to let him know, I'm not counting these. Let your athlete know. 
That is really, really important if we want to make sure that he gets his best performance and that we get a whole lot less flack from him later because he says, well, my judge was no repping me and he didn't tell me. So that's necessary. And then the third thing that we're going to be testing you on is your personality confidence. So this here is, uh, pick, uh, pick a famous crossfitter. Brandon. Brandon Phillips. It's a good choice. And so we're going to assume that Brandon on this day isn't at 100%. And so he does a box jump here. No rep. What? I rep every one of them. Listen, I know who you are, but still, no rep. What did I do wrong? You were in full extension above the box. Let me see another one. Get up there. Come on. Brandon. Let's go. Come on. Good. Good rep. Good rep. Good rep. Good rap! <laughs> no rap! No rap! You don't know what you're talking about! No rap! Oh! Confident. I don't care who this is. I understand. If you, it's bro. no rap, it's no rap. And that's important. We want to make sure our judges feel comfortable and confident. They can say anything they need to, besides slander and aggression, to their athlete to ensure that they know that that rap didn't count. All right. We're looking forward to seeing some amazing judges in these future competitions. Thanks. All right, so the wrap up on this is that we are not going to be uh, uh, judging you on every movement standard when we, when we test you. We won't be testing you on those because we want to test your ability just to do those three things. And we know that you're going to have a chance to see movement standards because for every event we will always release a movement standard video. So then it's up to you as a judge to review those movement standards and then be prepared for the event. All right. Thanks, guys.